My father was not available at all. Like, it's a ghost. My brother Andrew now is expecting his first child. I'm gonna need his help with the baby. I'm gonna need him to be more understanding, to be more hands-on. There are things that I'm nervous about. What kind of a father am I going to be? Well, I'm worried that my brother Andrew might not be responsible enough. He started to mix with some gangsters around. This kind of attitude is going to take his life down the drain. Every time Andrew did this kind of bad things, I, I'm still thinking, what can I do to help him? He told me that, no, now you're old enough to have a baby, so I won't argue with that. I won't fight you for that. Only thing I'm going to tell you, don't turn your back on your child. You must always be there for your child. You must love your child. That's what he told me. The situation for women here is you expected to go from work to being a mother at home and you don't get any assistance from your partner. I'm a security guard. It's not like I like it there, but I'm just working because I don't want my kid to grow up like, like I did. It affects you. It does affect you. I know tomorrow, maybe, some of us will be the fathers of tomorrow. It means we have to change that mindset. That situation whereby men get around together and address these issues, it can make our communities open up. It's very good for Andrew to have someone like that so that he can see that that's what a man does. He stands up for his responsibilities and then he takes care of them. Andrew is changing, is growing. He's part of that generation, the generation that wants the family. He's an inspiration to me. My dreams for being a father, to be a father like him. Good. 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 Good.